First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for coming out to talk to us. Assalamu alaikum. I'm, uh, I'm thank actually a Christian. And I was wondering, uh, the last statement you said um, that Jesus will come back on the day of judgment and become a believer in Al-Quran. Um, why is he, just point of clarification, um, you said that there was another miracle um, where Jesus basically speaks and the first thing he says is, um, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, the way I heard it was the first thing he says is, you know, I am a servant yes. of, the, of the one, yes. Allah. Yes. Um, so if, if he's coming back on the day of judgment and he's going to become a believer of Al-Quran, wasn't he by the no, no. Islamic tradition a believer? Oh no, of no, no, Al -Quran no, no. Oh, oh, no, no. Uh, uh, he was absolutely a believer. I'm just saying that the last book is the Quran. And the, and the point I'm making is the, the, the miracle of Jesus is that he had the Torah and the Injil and then a believer of the Quran only because the Quran came after him. So we're not, this is not to suggest to take anything away from Jesus that Jesus wasn't a believer. He was absolutely a believer. No question about that. We just wanted to make sure that people don't get the misconception that Jesus is going to reject the Quran. That Jesus is going to say, no, 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 I'm not, no, not, you know, we got to go back to the, to the Injil. That's the only point that I was making. But Jesus, 100%, have always been a, a, a believer and ha will have his place in, in the paradise. No doubt about it. Thank you for that point. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am.